scores a goal. Can you believe it? It's extraordinary. We are ready to start round round one here from Norwood Oval. Premiership player Mules, a couple of years ago. Up to half forward. Phillips, the target, but taken out the front by Considine. Oh. She had a couple of important touches. Have a look at the kick. Fantastic <laughs> kick to space to allow Chloe Shear to run onto it. Three times she was the best and fairest at under 18 level in the league here in South Australia. And have a look Bang. at that. Chloe Shear <laughs> draws first blood just in time for the Crows before quarter time. A couple of times Foley's anticipation. Ange Foley here has looked really good. This time the kick goes up high. Stevie Lee Thompson oh. at the back, but the mark. Is a good one taken by this little excitement machine, Eloise Jones. I love EJ. She's one of my favourite players down at the Adelaide women's team. But Pete, how is Ange Foley sitting 10 metres off that contest with not one Western Bulldogs? Going to have to kick right from 50. Goes long, a little to the right off the side of the boot. Oh. But great positioning and Chloe Shear. Trying to open up the ground. Plenty of opportunity now. Here's Hannah Martin. Playing her second game for the Crows. It was lively on debut. Lovely kick in the forward line too, and it falls into the arms. Terrific mark taken by Stevie Lee Thompson, who's playing in the forward line. Unusual Kate, usually a defender, speedy defender, but Stevie Lee Thompson. 40 out directly in front. Strikes it nicely. Another beautiful kick. Well, they've fixed up their accuracy already, the Adelaide Crows. And Stevie Lee Thompson's happy, and the Crows have got their second goal. A little toe poke off the ground on the outer side. Downey couldn't quite get the tackle. What about the pick up by Shear and the explosive speed to centre half forward? Jones fires it out. Stevie Lee Thompson, it's an open goal square. How does it bounce? Through for a much needed goal. And Stevie Lee's got her second. From the bench, Courtney, uh, thanks so much for your time. Phillips now will try and create something for the Crows. A snap around the body. It'll get to the goal square. Stevie Lee Thompson will take the mark, kick her third goal. And the Crows hit back. Much needed goal from the Adelaide Crows. And Stevie Lee Thompson is turning it on. Now playing as an on baller. Build up her tank. And that's a lovely looking pass for Perkins. Oh, terrific football by the Crows. Leading goal kicker in season one. So only minutes ago, they were down by 17 points. The Crows, Perkins, with that deliberate approach. We know she's got the distance. Has she got the accuracy? You bet ya. And she's happy too. Comes the way of Jess Foley, awkward little bounce. Who does it favour? Dalton tracking back. She goes right past it. Eloise Jones, can she pick it up and finish it off? The quick snap. She does. First goal of the quarter, and the Crows extend their lead. The weighted numbers is starting to take its toll as once again the Crows through Hatchard will look to go forward. Here's Stevie Lee Thompson. She's already kicked three this afternoon. She's kicked four. Stevie Lee Thompson, who would have thought? Looks like being the match winner for the Adelaide Crows. She came in last year for the Crows and had a median impact. The co-captain Randall, good to have her back for the Crows. Good looking kick as well. And Hatcher with a strong, courageous mark. Now there's a bit of a fight, a scrap and a wrestle. Coming through was Riley, the late inclusion. She tries to flick it to the advantage. Guess who's waiting out the back? Phillips. Bounce important here for McDonald. She's one-on-one -on -one with Thompson. Thompson kicked her feet, and Stevie Lee Thompson finds Jones, and great team football from the Adelaide Crows. Phillips on the lead, and she spots up her former Adelaide Lightning teammate. Now Adelaide Crows teammate just inside 50 and this ball movement from the Crows has been electric and Renee Forth can have a shot for a goal. So Renee Forth yet to kick a goal in her AFLW career, traded from the GWS Giants to the Crows during the off-season. That's a nice looking kick, has it got the legs? It certainly does! Renee Forth is on the board! Justine Mules. Never kicked a goal in the AFLW. Makes sweet connection. Doesn't quite have the distance. It's claimed by Phillips. Too big, too strong. Erin Phillips on the approach. This should be money in the bank every day of the week. She delivers. The superstars got three, and all the big names are shining for the Adelaide Crows. Had a few VFLW games in Melbourne oh, Uni during the 2018 season. Oh, what a wonderful 
juggling effort from Stevie Lee Thompson. Possession and she's just going to take tackle him. He is hacked hard. She's been everywhere. Finds a little bit of space. Goes for home. And was it a finger tipper? I don't think it was. Hatchard everywhere this afternoon. The Adelaide Crows defender sends it into the centre of the ground. No one's home. Oh, great smother applied from Riley sliding in. It comes to Erin uh, Phillips, who's going to put it out to Stevie Lee. Stevie Lee in front of her home crowd. Oh, now is that a goal? I think she's just put the boundary of the goal umpire down on her backside. But it is. Impressive as she been, the former basketballer in her first year for the Crows. A high ball. Going to make Phillips really work for it. Phillips does it again. Too good for Gooch. So linking up here the Crows through the middle of the ground. Radjik on the end of it. It's an awkward bounce. If anyone can gather it, Phillips can. She does. She gives it to Ponta, the rookie, who gives it off to uh, Eloise Jones. Almost break the tackle. Back to Danielle Ponta. And she's put it through. Kelly Gibson, who's coming up for the 12 disposals. Already kicked a goal this evening. And there is Chelsea Randall. Lee will drive inside 50 now. Looking for Foley, having a stint at full forward. Eloise Jones, she's been lively tonight. She kicks it off the ground. Soccer goal over the goalkeeper. Gooch's head, and it goes through for a goal. The TIO Stadium, two Dockers go to ground. The Crows keep their feet. One of them's Foley, has Marinov. She just throws it in the, on the boot. Ponta has a bit of space. What can she do? The clever small four. He goes on the outside of the boot. Kicks her second goal. And the local crowd love it. The local girl has extended the Adelaide Crows lead. Goes out the handball. Randall uses Sophie Lee. Under pressure. Oh, that's courageous. Backing back with the flight, Sally Riley. That is brave every day of the week. Feels like this is the first time we've really seen the Kangaroos lose a bit of confidence in their play, and they might have cost themselves another goal here. They're in all sorts of trouble. Ponta with the handball to Stevie Lee Thompson, who sends it towards goal. Stevie Lee, your little beauty. Let's not forget their fitness either. I mean, they've come off a game in Darwin. Oh, that's a lovely little pluck from Eloise Jones. It's party time. She hits up Erin Phillips on the chest, and Phillips will line up after the final siren to put a bit of icing on the cake. Socks down, the flashy boots. She's hard to miss on a footy ground. From directly in front, and she adds the exclamation mark to the Adelaide Crows, and boy, do they enjoy this win. It's like they've won with a kick after the siren. AFL, or one goal, in fact. Kick though, looks, and just in the end, Hatchard dropped it at the wrong time, but keeps her feet, round the body goes, and Hatchard for a super first goal of the game. Precision with the kicks. Bonner at the back, she loves this position. She's already kicked a couple of goals, but for Randall, you're not getting out of that grasp, and she wins the free kick. After doing that lockdown roll last year, Shear accelerates away. Jones had no room to move, though. She had Randall right behind her. Shear went and got it herself. Snap towards the top of the goal score. This is dangerous. Or it might go all the way. Can you believe it? Chloe Shear with a miracle goal. In front of Bennett's. Did well to put it to oh, Marinos' advantage. Van Hagen tried to go around the back. Proved well. Jess Foley inside 50. Phillips in front. Well, it's a bit of a shoot off between the leading goal kickers at the moment. Thompson and Phillips. And Phillips goes back within one of Stevie Lee Thompson and has Adelaide's fourth. Mariana, go well. No worries, thank you. Mariana Radjic joining us. Well played by Ange Foley to keep it in. Chloe Shear from the impossible angle. Which way will it bounce? Popped her off the ground. You are kidding me. She sends it inside 50 again. Oh, and a good diving mark by one of the best interceptors in the game, Chelsea Rand. Here's a one-on-one, -on -one. Staunton, strong. She, Staunton played on, but she probably should have taken that kick. And Foley read her like a book. Real property to get up as is Dalpos. Chelsea Randall can take the advantage. Gets around Aaron McKinnon. There's the defender. Deep inside, 50 Jones. 
Well, this to give the Crows a very handy advantage. Eloise Jones with her first, and the Crows kick away. Chard back towards goal. Almost took the slips catch. Might not matter. Chloe Shearer around the body. In fact, it's Ponta. Thompson all the way up on the wing. Gets around Hetherington and puts it in Phillips' advantage. Oh, look at the one-handed pickup. Make it two one-handed pickups from the superstar. And selfishly gives it to Thompson. And from the pocket, Stevie Lee. Make sure that what a Just desperate to get it out of harm's way in the Crows line up. Cox sends it corridor for McCormick, who's been an architect across half back so far. Pinpoint Van Hagen in space. Plenty of time to steady, to run, to shoot. And to finish. Oh, the Crows are white hot. It's a bit stiff for Patsy. Kick to half forward. Mark taken by Martin. Gets it and goes. Chips to the pocket. Thompson. Quick hands. Cramey. Tight angle. Bends it goalwards. Courtney Cramey. What a finish. Just the awareness of Courtney Kramer then and the, the bend, that is an impressive goal from Courtney Kramer. Yes, and Foley, here is Phillips hunting at ground level, just brushes through Newman onto her right boot, snaps towards the pocket. Jones strains to get there, ball sits for her, gathers, handball inboard, sheer brilliance. Pushes the kick wide. McCormick almost at the full Mithen. Handball to the second option in Paxman. She's corralled. The Crows pressure has been absolutely elite. Marinoff loves it. And you know what? Why? She's going to get a shot at her first goal. Mithen not happy with Phillips. And Marinoff might get her first major served on a platter. She's kicked six behinds in her AFLW career to this season. It's been a long time coming for Ebony Marinoff. And Ebony lived together two years ago when Ebony came over here to play for Darabin. She bought it at Elisa's house, so they know each other very well. Ball inside 50. McCormick takes Phillips out. Here's Stevie Lee Thompson. Straightens up from 30 for another. Geelong are definitely under the pump here. We know Adelaide's really good, but if Geelong can keep holding him off and not let him get an early score, they'll keep themselves in this game. Hatchard strength. Takes the ball out of the centre. A little give from Stevie Lee Thompson. Ebony Marinoff on the left. Gets the first for the Crows. Half back. Drops it in. Here's Van Hagen. Uh, Ratchich, rather. He's got a chance to go forward. There's Van Hagen. Back to Ratchich now. Inside 50. Has to work her way around, does it? Here's Chloe Shear. We know she's got some very nice skills. And she finishes it. The Crows have got their second. And then this is Marinoff goes up near the top of the square. A couple of bites at it. The mark has been taken by Ponta. Danielle Ponta, she's a super exciting young talent from the Northern Territory. We can just see here the replay of the mark, which is a St. Mary's product out of the Northern Territory Football League and in her first season of senior women's footy. Seven goals, one for the year. That's now eight goals. The Crows have got three. Sophie van der Heuvel overruns it. This is Mules. She blazes away as well. Stevie Lee Thompson and McDonald at it. Here we go. Eloise Jones on the outside of the right foot. A little bit of magic for Adelaide's fourth. Outside to Rachik. Keeps moving. Top of the square. Big flight. Couple of bites out. It was Jones. This is Sheer. And it's a goal. Goring able to flick the ball out. McDonald was involved and terrific pressure from Aaron Phillips. Free kick is going to go against Purcell. Van Hagen back onto Foley. A little dribbler kick inside 50. Ailish Considine, goal kicker from moments ago, goes back into attack, bounces off the knee of Mia Ray Clifford. Ponta working well. Ponta gets it. There she goes on the outside of the front and the Crows are heading to a grand final. Danielle Ponta with a second. Record. This is 
Great kick goes up and Phillip strong hands. Takes the ball at the highest point. Didn't give Jordan Ivey much of an opportunity at it. Jenna McCormick had a dream of going to the World Cup in Russia for the Matildas, but on the out, outer of the squad at the moment. So looking for AFLW Premiership number two. It's a good kick. And here's Chelsea Randall. Didn't get the chance before when she took off. So Geelong players, and I really hope that Chelsea slots this through as it would be a nice touch to finish off this game. Three career goals, none this year yet for the co-captain at Adelaide. And she's got it now, splits the centre magnificently. And Adelaide out by 61 points. Ali Blackburn, do you give Carlton much of a chance? They're probably watching this game. Well, this Adelaide side is comprehensive across the whole ground. How did the Blues stop them? Well, if they play the way they did yesterday, they're in with every chance here. But knowing how good Adelaide are, I think they're going to be really hard to beat. Here's a chance now to walk into an open goal. It's a bounce goes Ed Marinoff, Stevie Lee Thompson. Ed decides to pick it up, finally puts it through. And she's pretty happy. She's had an enormous game, Marinoff. And there is the Adelaide Football Club. AFLW style into their second grand final. It's an enormous performance. 11 7 73. The catch just a 1 1 7. It's the 2019 AFLW grand final. It's Adelaide and Carlton. Another matchup to save it. Jess Foley up against Ellison Downey. Both championship players at WNBL in basketball. Bree Davy and Aaron Phillips. Foley another tap through our Ebenoff, um, Ebony Marinoff's hands rather. Hatchard on the burst. Opening goal to the Crows. They look to switch to the broadcast side. Brazali lurking. We'll have three to beat. Van Hagen did well. Cooley got it to Randall. Randall to Ratchich. In fact, it's Cox. She goes straight up the middle looking for Phillips Jones on the stretch. Phillips tracking back. Stevens going with her. Phillips spotted now. She has prime position. But the Crows a chance to hit the front. Phillips has kicked nine goals, 11 this season. 45 out, directly in front. Doesn't make sweet contact. It'll drop short. It's still alive. It's a goal. It's Considine. There's a ball, a hurry kick comes out from Brazali. She had an awesome game last week as well, playing against Fremantle. Comes to Marinoff, that was from Chelsea Randall. Little get is a good one, running into the open goal is Hannah Martin, and she kicks it for the Crows. Pitch just in front of Hosking, good pressure from Allen, and it spills for Dana Cox. Cox into the centre of the ground, the vision is good, good stretch by Eloise Jones. On to Phillips, who had a terrific first term, a kick up into advantage. Here we go, Stevie Lee Thompson. They call her Speedy Lee Thompson. They're not going to catch her as she runs into an open goal and pops it through. Pumps the Blues back up along the wing. Sarah Allen, tall body, hands up high, brings the ball to the front, has time to go back with a big fly, Chloe Shearer. Ready to get going on the right foot, wheels around, the kick is good. Potter running into an open goal. And here go the Crows, they've got six. Champagne football by the Crows. Chloe Shear, the big mark, moved it on quickly. What a magnificent fly. Allen goes outside 50. Loins at the front well, of the contest. Beautifully read front and centre by Hatchard. She's got runners forward of the football. This is Jones. It's a one-on-one -on -one inside 50. It's Wilson versus Considine. Jones has a couple of bounces. Waits it over the top for Considine to run into. That is brilliant. Farms it out, Chelsea Randall, time just to measure, and just drops a kick short, lowers the eyes. She's got Hannah Martin. And there's the difference in usage. Adelaide going forward once again. Martin inside 50, Jones at the front. 45 degree angle, 35 metres from goal. Starts it right, and works it back. Gets a handball just in time. High kick coming down the wing. Phillips, strong hands. The kick was from Marinoff. Gets things going. Blues mopping up Imba in the defence. Going back, Ange Foley 
Plenty of courage in that kick coming from Wilson. Foley up marking Walker. Spots a player in space. It's fourth. Mullane almost ran her down. Didn't affect the kick. And Phillips takes it on the chest. About 35 metres out, so well within her distance here. Abs, her ability to change the angles, mm -hmm. Adelaide, use the width of the ground and open up the forward 50. It's been a massive difference between these two teams. And Phillips trots to 40. Liked it the moment she hit it. Wilson slaps it away. And two out of three ain't bad. The Adelaide Crows are AFLW Premiers for the second time in three years. Hoist the cup again, the Premiers of 2019.